Hey friend, today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to start or grow your online tutoring business as a teacher. I myself currently teach first grade online and this whole entire year I've been able to grow and expand my tutoring business to the point of now needing a wait list for the summer. And I know you can do it too with just a few simple tips and tricks that I'm gonna give you today in this video. The first thing I want you to stop doing is scrolling Instagram and comparing yourself to other people. We've all been guilty of it, but when you remember that comparison is the thief of joy, like Teddy Roosevelt said, you really begin to realize that it does take away from your time of building your business and it steals any joy that you could be having with growing your own tutoring side hustle. So stop comparing yourself to what other people are doing and do what's best for you. That's my first tip. My second tip is you need to determine your tutoring niche. This is so important because oftentimes when we start out in a business, we think we can do everything and we just want to be everything and everyone to every single person that needs our help. But the whole saying of the riches are in the niches um, is so true, whether you say niche or niche, you need to determine what yours is. I always recommend going with your favorite thing to teach in the classroom. So if you love teaching science, then you need to tutor science. If you're like me and you love teaching reading and writing, then that is your tutoring niche and you need to stick with it because you will be more passionate about it. It will also give your tutoring business direct purpose as well as letting your potential clients know exactly what you do. So they won't have any questions about, gee, I wonder what Molly tutors in. It's very evident when you get to your tutoring website, what you offer, how you offer it, and um, what your niche is. So again, pick your niche from the get-go and stick with it. Don't feel like you have to be everything to everybody because that's just not how it works with running a successful business. Niching down is going to be paramount to your success. The next thing I want you to do, number three, is set some goals. And this can be income-based. So if you know that you're starting a tutoring side hustle and you need to make 1,000 extra dollars a month, then you need to figure out what your tutoring rate's going to be and then figure out how many hours you're going to have to work with a set amount of students to reach that goal. It's kind of like backward design, so teacher friends will know exactly what I mean when I say that. It's good to start with the end in mind. A great way to figure this out without having to do all the math yourself is my tutoring income calculator. And I'll drop the link in my description for you to use that. So. It's really user friendly. You get to use a slider and decide how many hours and what your rate is going to be. And it tells you exactly how much you'll need to work uh, with your tutoring clients to reach your income goal. And usually $1,000 is a great jumping off place if you're already teaching full time because that means you're just working with a handful of students a few hours a week and uh, you can reach that goal easily. Um, the proof is me, I'm teaching full time and I average anywhere from 1,000 to 1,500 extra dollars a month depending on my client's schedule as well as mine. Sometimes less, sometimes more. Definitely in the summer you can have higher goals because you have the summers off if you're not teaching summer school. And one of the best parts about owning your own tutoring business is you don't have to teach summer school anymore because you're your own boss and you get paid way better and you work less and it's just, so wonderful when those things come together. So you need to figure out your goal for your income and that will help drive so many other parts of your business. So grab the tutoring income calculator and figure that out right now. The last thing I'm gonna recommend is getting clients. Number one question I get on Instagram all the time is but how do I get more clients? I have a whole blog post about this with a template that tells you the exact email you can send to 10 people right now to start lining up your client list either for the summer or um, for the next school year. You need to get that list going and have people waiting on you to start tutoring so that your business is figured out and you're not scrambling to put together uh, a client here or there. So go check that blog post out. I'll also put that in the description box. 
copy the template and feel free to use it and edit it to your own uh, particular voice that you use when you talk to your tutoring clients. So there you have it. There's a few things that you can do to start or grow your tutoring business today. And all of them are actionable and easy to follow through with. And I promise you that if you do a few of them at a time, you will see results in your tutoring business. If you're watching this and you want to start your tutoring business, but don't really exactly know the steps and how to put them in order, you can grab my free 10 step guide. That is the first 10 things you're going to do to get started in the right order and start your tutoring business today. You won't make any mistakes if you grab the guide. I encourage you to get it. It's like I said, it's free and it's super helpful. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment below if you would like more tutoring tips. Get as specific as you want and I will try to make better videos for you down the road. Thanks for watching.